back here in Miami. Um, I rough her. I rough her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Love you, babe. You a simp! There's a high likelihood it's not true and she's doing this shit because she knows that she's done. In every episode of You Are Not The Father, there's always two sides of the story. And today we hear from both. And shout out to Albo and Preach for conducting a thorough cheek slaying investigation. So today, who is the father? Today on episode two of Surviving Fresh and Fit, I want to get to the bottom of this fiasco. If you uh, haven't seen part one, be sure to go check that out just for more context. But I decided that I would interview the woman in question at the heart of this whole thing. She provided me a bunch of screenshots, uh, screen recordings, and a bunch of different things. And I think it answered a lot of the questions that would have seemed to be unanswered before. On a live stream today, uh, he said that you were never his girl. He's got that? I made a statement on my vlog and on the show multiple times. And I said, this is a matter of fact, guys, look, look it up if you want to. I said, if a girl's on camera with me, she is what? Not my girl. Let's get that in mind. If I bring a girl on camera, she's not my girl. We never see my girl because I know what happens when you break on, on the internet. I learned from experience. That's all I'm gonna say. Listen, this was a great trip. Happy to see my lovely Asian queen again. Uh, but you know, as time passes, we must say farewells for a short period of time until mm -hmm. she comes back. So can't wait to see her back here in Miami. Uh, I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't. Love you, babe. Love you. From further speculation, this girl looks like she has more testosterone than Walter. Beta! And it doesn't look like baby trapping to me. Walter simply didn't wrap it before he clapped it. Well, he's just making him like make, make him look like it did right now because clearly like he made it made that on public and on the conversation you saw it. He calls me girlfriend, right? Yeah. Are you gonna take someone to see your entire family if she's not your girlfriend? Travel to your home country? That's not reasonable. You can like casually meeting your mother, that's fine. The first time I met his mother, I was like, okay. If you decide to do that, I don't mind. Why did you accept being in a non-monogamous relationship with Resh? Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we were in a long distance relationship. Because whether I agree or not, he's going to do that. And we weren't stable because we just got to know each other. And, you know, so I was thinking just to be there and move there, for, like to be with him, maybe, maybe like it would be different. You know, but I don't want to like it comes to a conclusion in the beginning, like, oh, I'm going to stop this guy from doing everything just because he met me. Because in the early stage of the relationship, I don't want to... Um, then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? I asked some tough that's questions. A, that's, a, that's a good question. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not softballing a, no, it. No, no, I ain't mad at you. No, I, I, I'm, I'm she's like, I'm about like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush like monogamy. So I'm accepting this. But, but you're like, rushing for But you want to have a baby with it. I understand. I understand. Because um, I just felt like I'm not... I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married or if if I like someone I can have a kid with him for like a week like it's not it doesn't matter it's the time it doesn't matter I was with someone for nine months he really wanted to marry me he's American and I didn't want that I ended that when I'm when I met Walter I just felt like wow there's so much chemistry when a girl says She's not that type of girl. <laughs> Most likely, she is that girl. He needs some milk. What if he claimed he never wanted a baby? Would that be true? He didn't want? Okay, if he say so, if he really didn't want the baby, after so many times I asked him in person, do not come in me. He does that every oh, fucking day. Yeah. Like, he can just pull out. Doublers. Easy as that. Because he was always like, 
oh, I'm doing this with my girlfriend, so... And Walter's saying this. I don't want to go. Nobody. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. They just give you the pill and it's over. Sounds like she's definitely not the first girl he said that to. I thought Fresh and Fit was a podcast that was against abortion. That you're supposed to have kids with high value women. Not some Instagram model who posts booty hole pictures on the internet for everyone to see. Really serious conversation, like planning a future and ask me what I want to do. Oh, I want to plan a future with you. Uh, why don't we get a house instead of renting another apartment? That doesn't make sense, wasting money, blah, blah, blah. And he said, uh, what, what if you get pregnant? Isn't that better for a bigger house? Is that baby trapping? They're going to end up together. Is that baby trapping? I'm asking. Is that baby trapping? You out here talking about let's get a house together because what if you get pregnant? Is that baby trapping, my butt? I'm just asking. Just asking the question. It's not. It's not. Guys. I understand what you're saying when you're saying it's not, but some of these answers, oh. I think they're irresponsible, but that doesn't mean baby yeah, trapping. No. That, that, exactly, those are separate things. Exactly. Not pregnant, no baby. She tells that to Walter. He says, oh, you did a pregnancy test? He says, yeah, my period just came and five days ahead. So you play a good game. Okay, what game? Uh, um, This game on bed. I'm confused. Don't worry, we all are. I don't think anybody understood what she meant. And she goes, just kidding. I meant you are safe. Just letting you know. Next time you won't be so lucky. What's that saying? I'm not having a baby. I'm having your baby. Yeah. Next time, you're not going to be so lucky. And what does he write? Oh, I wasn't worried. I didn't want to pull out anyway. Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come. But that's good that you got your period. So he oh, so you're being a dick. She's not too happy about it. I didn't reject you because I don't mind being pregnant with your baby. She's being direct. Yeah. She's telling him. And all he says is, no, I'm saying I like you a lot. And once you're happy, I'm happy. So can you understand why she's confused? He, but he not, he refusing to pull out, busting inside them sugar walls. And now all of a sudden he's been trapped. He don't want to be a dad. You have decided that you were not going to pull out of her vagina. So you are not going to pull out of fatherhood. <laughs> care of baby. You are not going to pull out of fatherhood. You're going to take care of the baby. He has no choice. He's going to pay. If it's sad to see that these guys talk about friendly, feminine, fit. Don't mess with girls who have been ran through like the yellow light. Especially if a girl has collected more bodies than Genghis Khan. Then look at the type of girls they are messing with behind these closed doors. Shame on you. Meanwhile, if there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People are fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand by the guys that stand by me. Because you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> The man is giving a presentation like he's about to charge out a whole platoon on enemy front lines. Myron thinks he's staring for the new Rambo 3, the golden age of the American sniper. Myron, why are you yelling at us? The fuck do we do? You should be yelling at Walter. Hold your mans accountable. Did you always tell him that you would not get an abortion? Oh, I always, I always told him. He knows I'm not getting any abortion. And plus, he didn't care at all. He was like, he's, he was kind of like just admitted that if he, he's going to make, make me pregnant, he's just going to like raise a baby with me. And he, 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 he didn't like say that, but all the, this, this his action proves that doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child why don't you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you no because uh i was pretty sure that he was so serious about me but then okay okay but at least at least he's not stupid that 
if he does this to me, I'm going to get pregnant. I think it's just a misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible. But for me, he's serious. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've never met someone like that. Nobody would treat me like that. Like, this is so evil. I've never met anyone like that. I'm not acting like a naive girl right here. Like, I traveled a lot of places, but nothing like this. See, that didn't make much sense to me because in my head, I'm like, so you want to be serious with somebody and you want to have a child with them, but you're not getting them to verbally say they also really want to have a child with them. Shouldn't that be something y'all establish properly? Can you show paperwork for pregnancy tests and ultrasound? A lot of people are saying that stuff is photoshopped or whatever, or it's just like, so I just wanted to at least see if she had actual real paperwork. Uh, yeah, I have no problem sharing that. I actually posted. The, uh, okay, so let me explain about the ultrasound. The doctor told me it's still early, four weeks. So he can't, she can't see everything, but she can still see a little bit, like a small quarter of it. But it's just like too, it's too early, you know, it's four weeks. Meanwhile. Oh, you're encouraging an abortion, etc. Bro, we don't know if it's even true. Like, you know, they say hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Like, bro, this, at the end of the day, let me just fucking say this. She's mad because Fresh didn't want to get her a fucking apartment in Miami. Ta-da! There you guys fucking go, all right? She's mad because Fresh didn't want to fucking get her an apartment in Miami, and he didn't want to be with her no more. That's why she's doing all this shit, all right? She did a pregnancy test before in fucking Barbados, and it came back negative. Sorry, I had to fucking say this shit. It's fucking annoying me. These fucking ass clowns in the chat talk, saying all this bullshit, whatever. There's a high likelihood it's not true and she's doing this shit because she knows that she's done. She knows that he don't want to be with her no more. So she's like, let me take the fucking building down with me. Let me burn this bitch down and make him look terrible. Let me record this fucking phone call mm -hmm. pre and premeditated, mm -hmm. call it, make him get a reaction so I could put this shit on the internet, put it on Instagram stories immediately after, right? And this is what I mean when I say you ask clowns don't know what the fuck is going on in the fucking chat talking all the shit. Bro, it's an abortion. Bro, it's so bad. He killed a baby. Nigga, there probably isn't a baby there. Honestly, Walter handled this situation terribly. Let's be honest here. No matter who this girl is or what she does for a living, at the end of the day, she's still human. A woman can't tell you she's pregnant with another human life in her body. And you can't even offer to take her to the hospital or help her. That is a disgrace for human life. But wait, there's more. How did you know Pug CEO was the man to bust inside your sugar walls? I have no idea. I just, I just feel like, I just feel like maybe everything happens. It was mean to be, you know, to meet him even. Uh, out of uh, out of all the people in Miami, uh, every day I go out, I get so many um how to say um approach every day uh wherever the night we met at the party and there were other guys they were like another guy he's really really into me so fresh was there as well and i just don't know like somehow he just got me curious everybody like out of everybody like when they see me, they see me interesting, they would come talk to me or oh, making some nonsense. But this guy, he was just like staring at me, not saying anything, like full of questioning on his face. That just caused my curiosity. But usually, um, you know, I get a lot of approach, so it's not interesting for me. So I was like, okay, who's this guy? And then, okay, finally, he said hi to me. He's like, where are you from? And I said, guess if you're right, um, I will drink. If you're wrong, then you drink. So he was like, okay, this is interesting. And then he DM'd me. And then we went out. And he kind of, he's romantic. He's good at planning dates. And he's kind of dominate. He was just good at everything, you know. He was saying things to me that made, made me feel he, it's real, you know. He was genuine. And he made me feel special. Maybe no matter what other people were saying, like what he did to other girls or, or even I found out later though, not when I just started. You know, what did you think hearing this? What did I think about what? About what you heard right now? I'm not sure. Because there's a whole narrative not, that this girl sure. was trying to baby trap him or she wasn't really into him. She's there for the money or whatever it is. But when I hear her speak, you even notice her face. You see how she smiles when she thinks about him mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Like, I was actually surprised by this part because everyone's asking the same question. You know what people yeah. are asking? Yeah. 
Yo, why'd you get with Fresh? Yeah, you seen him, but you look at her, that's the face of somebody who's actually into a man. But she was impressed. So she was like, mm, yeah, you got game. Yeah. So so he yeah, so that's just one thing that I want to establish. This is extremely embarrassing for Walter, especially having a whole podcast based on teaching and telling men to avoid these types of 304s. And what does he do? He creamed inside a 304. Like no matter if this girl is lying or telling the truth, this is a major big L for Walter. And it just might have tainted the podcast image. I mean, I hope it doesn't because I wish nothing but the best for them, but shit. Okay, why are you exposing him publicly? Why? Why? Because obviously now I hate him. I hate him for not being a man, stand up for his child and not taking the responsibilities after. He can, he can, he doesn't have to love me or he can break up with me. That's fine. For me, it's okay. It's, it's some guy I've seen for four months. I was, I was like going to get over with it, but I'm pregnant. This is serious for me. This is just a, a bit of a sidewalk, but Fresh and Fit fan accused Fresh of buying you a bracelet for 30 grand. On a podcast, he said he never paid a dime. Nobody has a receipt. Is this true? The Chinese escort, because I'm about to get Fresh on this one too. So Fresh, you gave an extremely expensive long <laughs> cleave bracelet, which are worth up to 30K, to a Chinese escort you just met. Now Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. Show me the proof. But the escort says that you did. Look at her page in detail. What does she have under? Multiple gifts? From herself, by the way, or from her ex. Whatever she does for her money, bro, it's up to her. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, Fresh is a simp, wrong. So you didn't buy Fresh, it? So can you no. Respond? You're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the mm -hmm. bracelet. And no, it's not true. He, he, paid, he paid half and I paid half. Like, like I said, how much? Around 30K. Uh, well, first, I, I still have the conversation. I told him, what's the issue if you tell everyone you bought me the bracelet? Like, why can't you tell everyone? Why can't you speak the truth? Like, why are you like pretending it, like hiding it? But then he was like, don't say it. He just tell me to shut up. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to them. Yes. It's a big deal to the fans and it's a big deal to them because yes. it really makes you look like I see them. Yep. And I wouldn't give a shit. You give things to people, you give things to people that you appreciate. 15 I, grand? Wait a minute. <laughs> Some of you just met? But these guys always want to claim they don't pay for nothing. They don't oh. do none of this stuff. Anybody they don't have. They don't use their money to get. But you realize they all do it. They all doing it. You, they're, they're paying for random girls' apartments. They're all doing this kind of stuff. So why is he lying? Not because it's a big deal. But it's like Preach said, it's a big deal to the fans. And now you have to double down, triple down on the lie. And it's almost insulting. If Walter just simply told us the truth. Hey, guys, I made a big mistake. I got this girl pregnant, but I'm going to own up to it like a man. I'm going to be the best father I can be for this child. Boom, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, done. Swept under the rug. But the simple fact that he lied, the reason why the story blew the fuck up. You see what happens when you lie? It's just better to tell the truth. You know, I don't really care for the situation. I'm just praying for the child because the child is already going through a lot of shit and it's not even born yet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.